All right, even shorter and sweeter. Uh, two things I wanted to bring up. One is the concept that so a white guy defending Ron Paul doesn't hold as much water as a guy that has hair like mine, skin like mine, because why? Uh, how racist is that? Right? And I and I and I agree though. Black people, you better step up. There's the one guy, the one candidate that's the defender of liberty and the Constitution. His name is Ron Paul. There is no other name there. Indefinite detention? What? Okay. And then the other issue. Foreign policy? Okay, my country first. We got black people, black kids, Mexican kids that are Americans, uh, not illegal immigrants, but we got, and, and white people, lots of them, in Apple, all over the place that we just don't want to talk about that are starving in this country, right? And they're not starving to death like in Africa, but are there kids going to bed hungry at night in the United States? Are you fooling yourself thinking no? My country first, right? Before we give foreign aid to other countries, let's clean up our own house. That's crazy, right? Once we get, you know, the issue of homelessness and, and you know, like, gee, that guy Qaddafi seemed to have the homeless issue pretty much taken care of. Well, once we get homelessness taken care of in the United States, then maybe we have money for foreign aid. Once we get, you know, people fed in this country, educated in this country, then then we have money for foreign aid. And then the issue, that calling him an isolationist, do you know what the word means? Take a look in the dictionary. There's a big difference between isolationist and non-interventionalist. And the main thing, right, foreign policy, drug war, all this other stuff, right, gay rights, marriage, right, and what's, and this whole thing, license, you need a license to get married, really, you need a pro, you need a permit to protest, how's that, you need a, you need a permit, you want to protest, no, you're going to need a permit, you're going to be in the park, you need a permit, right, First Amendment, free speech zones, I thought free speech. I thought the free speech zone was the United States of America, from sea to signing sea, right? That's the free speech zone. Every, at every turn, they try to take down the Constitution. And Obama's a part of it. The other, the other candidates, the establishment is a part of it. I mean, slowly but surely erode those rights, and again, inalienable rights enshrined in the Constitution, not civil rights. Civil rights come from the government. I don't get my rights from the government. All right, the civil rights concept, all right, that's trading one thing for another. I prefer my inalienable rights, thank you very much. All right, my God-given rights, as it were. Right, that constitution, this, that doesn't give me any rights. That restrains the government and outlines rights I already have. That the government shall not infringe. And the one candidate that talks about this is Ron Paul, the one man that uses this as his guide when he votes on these bills that go in before Congress, is Ron Paul. And if he's crazy because he uses the Constitution as his guide, then we've got some serious problems in this country. And this is a republic. The idea is to restore the republic and restore the Constitution. And this is not a democracy. It's not mob rule. The idea is the rights of the many and the rights of the few are protected in a republic. Right? The few. Gays are few. I mean, you're, you're not the majority. But your rights should be protected. Right? You don't get any more rights than I do. So, we have unlimited right to contract. You guys want to contract? Contract! Ron Paul has said this repeatedly. Foreign, co you know, foreign policy, people talk about foreign policy. Well, foreign policy where... We take money from the poor and give it to the rich in other countries? That's a pretty lousy foreign policy, where we bomb other countries into oblivion, and then we give huge contracts to American corporations to go build the bridges that we just blew up? Trade. Right? Peaceful trade. This is not isolationist. Trade with any country that wants to trade with us. That's not isolationist. That's non-interventionalist. Right, these these concepts and issues are simple. Now, the concept that the Ron Paul's racist, of course they're going to use that. That's the, the that's the one shred they have. That's they're going to cling to that to the very end. Trust me, like it's not going away. 
no matter how ridiculous it is and how many people can point out the fact that there's a simple smear campaign, good old-fashioned mudslinging smear campaign, right? And, and, and there's no truth to it. There's no piece of evidence that you can point out where Ron Paul has said or espouses these kind of things, or, you know, in a speech or in his voting record or, you know, anywhere. Because you know if there was a speech or if there was a film clip that they could come up with that even vaguely could be construed, they'd have it on, they'd be, it'd be all over the, you know, all over the airwaves and all over the internet, too. It's 2011. There isn't one. Now, the main thing is the main thing, and that's the central bank. The fact that we have a private corporation issuing, you know, <coughs> debt where we have to pay it back at interest. Right? Our Federal Reserve, no more federal than Federal Express. And some people don't even, to this day, people still question that. They're a private corporation. Who owns this private corporation? We know that too. It's 2011. This, all this, these issues should be straightforward and easy for you to find. And you know what? The young people in Occupy Wall Street, the word on their lips is Ron Paul. The young people are not fooled. Right? They try to make it out like these people are, you know, socialists and criminals and, you know, hippies and they got nothing better to do than, you know, it's millions and millions of them in the streets all across this nation. And the, the word on their lips is Ron Paul. Because unlike the older generations, they're not fooled. And they'd like their country back just like I would. Now, you want to talk issues? Let's talk issues. Money, politics, foreign policy, etc. But this racism thing, that's just a smokescreen. And it's, you know, by now, people understand the concept of divide and conquer. And that this is the oldest trick in the book. Are you going to fall for the oldest trick in the book? The race card? Alright, let's debate the issues. Alright, indefinite detention? Really, you're for the guy that, that is going to sign indefinite detention in the law. And the guy that has, has claims that even if you've been acquitted, we'll hold you till death anyway. Right? Even kings of old never tried to try to... <laughs> regions from in the past would never... If you've been acquitted in the court, they would never still try to keep you. And yet Obama is trying to claim this. And it's actually just... It's not Obama. It's the office of the, office of the president. Whoever is in that office. Right? Because you know it changes every four years. It's not like Obama wants the power... The men behind the throne want that office to have the power. So, you know, get clear. You want your country back? You want to restore this republic? The one man's name is Ron Paul.